Okay, so that's for network topology. Finally, we will talk about network engineering and network engineers. So first, what is network engineering? Actually, uh, this is a kind of engineering. So this network engineering actually refers to we need to plan or design some feasible solutions. And the solution is targeted at some network application requirements. And how to design, how to uh, plan? Actually, we need to base on some uh, network system standard. So for example, uh, the L2.11, the uh, RFC or IETF standard, and some specifications, and also some technologies under the guidance of information system engineering method. So this is one thing. Uh, the engineering refers to we need to plan and design the solution. And another domain is that when we design the solution, we need to implement the network. Okay, so we need to uh, integrate and implement the computer network, uh, hardware devices, software, and topologies. So finally, to form a real network system to meet the requirement. So two things, we need to design and we need to integrate the device to implement the network. So that is network engineering. Then how to do network engineering? Actually, we need the network engineers to do the network engineering. Right? So the network engineers actually refer to the professionals who master the professional uh, network te technologies. And they will have the professional skills. They know how to implement the network. They have a lot of experience and they can plan the network, implement the network to meet the customer's requirement. Okay. So for a network engineer, they need to grasp some basic professional knowledge. They need to have uh, some basic qualification and they need to master the professional skills. So for the professional knowledge, actually they need to know the process specification, they need to know the industry knowledge, the engineering knowledge, the product knowledge, and also technical knowledge. Right? So in this course, actually we will talk about the technical knowledge and also uh, talk some uh, product knowledge related with Huawei product. And for basic, the engineer also need to know some basic, to get some basic qualification. And finally, they need to mask, uh, grasp the professional skills, right? These skills include the team collaboration skills, the business management skills, the presentation skills, the problem solving skills, and also the communication between the customer and the engineers. So for the uh, technology development path of network engineers, actually they need to first learn some macro knowledge. For example, what is what is routing, what is switching, and then to the micro knowledge. For example, they know the configurations and learn the details of some protocol uh, details and process. For example, the OSPF connection established process. And then after these micro things, uh, then go to the higher layer to know the uh, working mechanism and also the total solution design. So from here to here, that is again from micro to macro. So in total, we need to know some fundamental things and then some details and then back to a big picture. That is the uh, development path of network engineer. And how Huawei help these engineers to develop themselves? So first, Huawei will provide certain certification exams. For example, this HCIA Datacom uh, course and this Datacom certification exam. And also uh, Huawei certification can provide a hierarchical certification system. They can help the engineer to develop into the civil engineer and then to be an expert. And finally, not only uh, be helpful, 
helpful for the engineers. The Huawei certification also can help the enterprise to enhance their performance, enhance the productivity, and also to accelerate their business innovation and transformation. So if we look at the Huawei certification portfolio, actually they divided into uh, several different certification. They include the ICT infrastructure certification. You will learn the basic infrastructure. And also there are a lot of platform and service certification that is based on different platform or different service. And then uh, on the top, that is the vertical certification. For example, the finance, the public safety certification. And if we look at our course, our course is called data communication. That is in the infrastructure certification. They are basing on the physical layer things and to support the upper layer storage, computing, or data center. And if we look at the data communication course in detail, actually they will provide three different level certification. Uh, the first level is the HCIA, HCI Associate. The aim of HCIA Datacom actually is to cultivate network engineer with basic theories and skills. That is the level one. And then the higher level, actually we call it the HCI Professional. In this certification, actually they want to make the network engineers have the uh, cross-field solution planning skills. And also they need to plan and deploy the single field uh, scenario. And the top level is the uh, HCI expert. So here, uh, the engineer need to be able to uh, do the cross-field solution planning and deployment. Okay, so to summarize today's lecture, actually, uh, we have described the concept of network communication and network communication network. We have learned some basic functions. And uh, we also learned different network devices. We learned uh, three different types of network, LAN, MAN, and WAN. We learned different network topologies. And finally, we know a little bit about network engineering and network engineers. And we also introduced the Huawei Datacom certification system. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. Thank you.